Hundreds of volunteers in Lafayette came together today to help homeless, almost homeless, and at-risk veterans. News 18's Holly Campbell was at the second annual Stand Down event today and has more on the services offered to help get veterans back on their feet. Hundreds of volunteers and veterans gathered at the Tippecanoe County Fairgrounds Saturday morning for the second annual Stand Down event to help homeless, almost homeless, and at-risk veterans in Lafayette. Some volunteers, like Illinois resident Susan Gutteridge, traveled hundreds of miles to help. We take a lot for granted, and homelessness and, and veterans should not be used in the same sentence. 23% of all homeless are veterans. And it's time to eradicate it, and stuff like this is, is what's going to eradicate it. Last year, the stand down served more than 200 veterans and their family members. This year, directors say that number tripled. Some veterans say having a program like the stand down provides veterans with the help they need when returning from war. I got out in 1966 and we didn't have this. So we came home, no job, no place to live. A problem many veterans coming home from Iraq and Afghanistan still face today. Tim Hilton, a director for the stand down, says the event not only benefits struggling veterans, but their families as well. We're trying to incorporate them back into the community, trying to help them get jobs, trying to get them to join the veterans organizations, and, and they're like we were, you know, 40 years ago. You know, what are you going to do for me and my family because they have young kids? Nearly 150 volunteers provided more than 60 services to veterans in need. The services ranged from free clothes and food to job placement, legal advice, and health screenings, all free of charge. Many of the volunteers are veterans themselves and say helping members of their military family is a rewarding experience. It makes me feel good that we can be able to help them and we truly are helping a lot of veterans today. It's such a good feeling to see this. I'm, I'm just real happy to be here. The work they've done made the military what it is today. The military that people from ROTC will soon be participating in. Uh, so we're more than happy to give our help. It's great to know that we're able to reach out to so many people and sad to know that there is that need. You can see that you're helping and that's, that's what it's about. Helping one another. Volunteers say spending their day helping our community's heroes is one they'll never forget. Holly Campbell, News 18.